The subject of today's episode may surprise you. I want to talk about expert marketing advice and why you as a library marketer should take the advice of experts, myself included, with a grain of salt. I will explain in this episode of the Library Marketing Show. Hi there, I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com. If you want to get notifications every time I post a video or article, head to the website, scroll to the bottom left-hand corner, and sign up. You can also click on the Library Marketing Show tab. Let me know if you have a question you want answered in a future episode. You can also nominate a library doing something fun or interesting or exciting or unique in marketing for our Kudos Award. I like starting these episodes with kudos, and that's what we're going to do today. Our kudos award goes to the Arlington Heights Memorial Library. I was scrolling through LinkedIn a few weeks ago, and I saw that they had shared a post from their website where they were talking about FanCon. It's an event. They've done it. This is the eighth year they've done it. They had more than a thousand people who visited. And it caught my eye because quite frequently, we do a lot of pre-event promotion, obviously, because we want to get people to come to the event, but we don't really talk about what has happened at the event after it's over. This library shared photos and a success story, basically, of this very vibrant and popular event. And this can help break down that stereotype that libraries are obsolete and nobody goes there anymore because a thousand people showed up at this library for FanCon. So I want to give them a big thumbs up and kudos for doing this. Great job, Arlington Heights Memorial Library. Okay, let's talk about today's topic, which is expert advice and why you should take it with a grain of salt. I'm including myself in this. The reason I decided to talk about this is because I often listen to blogs or I read blogs, I should say, listen to podcasts, watch videos from marketing experts who work for big and small companies, agencies, nonprofits. And sometimes I listen to them and I think, oh my gosh, that is a great piece of of advice, but it would not apply to me. Here are some things to consider as you're listening to expert advice and why sometimes it feels like the people giving the advice really don't understand what it's like to work in a library. So We know that expert advice is often based on a specific industry or a context. So what might work in a retail situation or a tech agency or even a marketing agency might not necessarily work in the library sector. Every industry has its own challenges and its own audience. So keep that in mind. Libraries operate with a very limited marketing budget. Many other companies and agencies do not. It may seem like they have unlimited resources. That can be a bit of a downer. It's okay. Their advice might not be super practical, but it is always good to learn about what technology is out there because technology prices, they fall over time and we may at some point in the future be able to afford it. Like think about when email started. Email marketing was very expensive when it first started. Now, most libraries around the world are sending some kind of email to their patrons because the cost of it has come down. That can happen with other technologies too. So stay up to date with them and don't get bummed out if you can't afford it. And finally, I I think it's really important to think about libraries have a mission. And many times um, a profit company, their mission is to make money. And libraries' mission is a little more um, of serving our community. It's not making money. We're not selling anything. We're not focused on transactions. So that can make some advice feel like it just doesn't work for your library. I'm not saying don't learn and don't seek out expert advice. There are many experts that I really love and appreciate. As I'm listening to their advice, I'm often trying to translate it in my head how which parts, which pieces of this advice apply to libraries and which don't. I'll put a list down below of the marketing experts that I follow that I think for the most part, their advice does apply in some form or fashion to libraries. I would love for you to also share with me and with the rest of my viewers, the experts that you follow, who do you trust to give you marketing advice Also, I'm going to ask if there's anything that I can do to make my advice more applicable to your work, please let me know down below in the comments. 
And that's it for today's episode. But my channel is full of a lot more tips for library marketing. If you're interested in learning more, head to this next video. I'll see you there.